SNL cast member Chloe Feynman says that Elon Musk made her and several other cast members bust out crying for the most ridiculous reason imaginable. Let's talk about it. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about SNL cast member Chloe Feynman admitting that Elon Musk made her and several other cast members on the show bust out crying before they taped their session back in 2021. Now, what they do on SNL and a lot of other shows, they're going to do table reads. So, Chloe, in this case, has the sketch written for Elon, for other cast members, and they go through it. Okay, is it funny? Is it not funny? Do you, do you make any changes? What's going on? Now, she worked very hard for her little sketch. Elon comes in. He doesn't like it too much. His criticism made them bust out crying. Now, this is crazy, and I have a lot to say about it. I think this story ties into the whole Harvard, Yale, whatever, the Ivy League schools thing with the binkies and the babas and the blankies for grown adults that cannot handle Kamala Harris losing an election. And before I go any further, let's get straight to the clip. Of course, I will link to the entire thing in the box. First, we're going to hear from her, then other cast members, then a response from Elon, and also Bill Maher makes a guest appearance here. But without further ado, let's go ahead and roll it. I'm the cast member that he made cry, and he's the host that made someone cry. Saturday Night Live star Chloe Fineman says Elon Musk made her cry before he hosted the show back in 2021, seemingly solving an internet mystery started by fellow SNL star Bowen Yang. Chloe tells her story in a since-deleted TikTok posted November 11th. Okay, I just saw some news article about Elon Musk being, like, butthurt about SNL and his impression, but I'm like... You're clearly watching the show. Like, what are you talking about? Let's pause for the fair use. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to come out and say at long last that I'm the cast member that he made cry. And he's the host that made someone cry. Maybe there's others. Um, but I saw some articles and stuff and I was like, I'm not going to say anything. But I'm like, no, if you're going to like go on your platform and be rude, like, guess what? You made... I, Chloe Feynman, burst into tears. Now, I want to know what she thinks she's accomplishing by coming out here and doing this. Is this supposed to expose Elon Musk? I think maybe you expose yourself, Ms. Feynman, which is maybe why you deleted the TikToks after you uploaded it, perhaps. Chloe goes on to say she stayed up late working on a sketch that Elon apparently hated. I stayed up all night writing the sketch. I was so excited. I came in, I asked if you had any questions and you stared at me like you were firing me from Tesla and were like, it's not funny. That's funny. That right there, hey, try doing more of that on, on SNL and it might be a funnier show. That was a good impression. You should, do, you should do the Elon Musk impressions rather than trying to dig up Dana Carvey from 1992, but anyway. I waited for you to be like, ha ha, JK. No, then you started pawing through my script, like flipping each page, being like, I didn't laugh. Just, I didn't laugh once, not one time. <sighs> Cut to the sketch made it on and it was like fine. And I actually had a really good time and I thought you were really funny in it. On the show's post-election episode, comedian Dana Carvey did an impression of Musk in the cold open, reacting to Donald Trump's win. Yeah, but uh, 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 seriously, I run the country now. <laughs> See what I'm saying? This right here, this is what they call funny. What Chloe Feynman was just doing in the TikTok video was funnier than this, in my humble opinion. This just appears to be mean-spirited and rude, trying to, like, make fun of him and the way he speaks and whatnot. It's not really funny. What she was doing was more accurate. Like I said, get Chloe Feynman, put her in some black and gray clothes and whatnot, and let her do the Elon impression. And America's going to be like one of my rockets, you know, that's super cool and super fun. But there's a slight chance it could blow up and everybody dies. Ha ha ha! I'm Doc Mega! See you in the White House! USA! USA! It ain't, it, that's, that's, not, that's not really going to do it. See, to them it's funny because they're like making fun of him and making fun of us. Anybody that's like a Trump supporter or whatever. So it's not... It's, it's, I don't know. Y'all know what I'm saying. Comedy should be funny. Comedy shouldn't just be mean. 
Elon later took to X, formerly Twitter, to give his take on the performance, saying, Dana Carvey just sounds like Dana Carvey. And in another post added in part, SNL has been dying slowly for years as they become increasingly out of touch with reality. E! News has reached out to Elon's PR team at Tesla for comment, but hasn't heard back. In August, comedian Bowen Yang kicked off serious internet speculation after confessing on Watch What Happens Live that one host, who he didn't name in the interview, had made a really bad impression on the cast. This man who, uh, this person, this host, um, made multiple cast members cry on Wednesday during the, before the table read because... Okay, now I wonder if Mr. Bowen Yang has his monkeypox vaccine. He hated the ideas. Wow. Yeah. That's terrible. Terrible. Okay. Now Chloe says she was one of them, and she has a final message for Musk in her video. You know, have a little manners here, sir. Okay, now can we go back? I just want you to, I just want you to understand something. Chloe Feynman is 36 years old. Yes, she is. A full 100% grown woman. A little bit of context. When my mom was 36, I think I might have been going to high school. Okay, this is way too old to be behaving this way. In 2021, 33, maybe 32, if the birthday didn't hit or whatever. So let's say 33 years old, busting out crying, and not just you, but it might have been Bo and Yang, the, the guy we just saw. It might have been a bunch of y'all in your 30s, maybe even 40s, crying at the table. Now look, <laughs> I want you to see me clearly when I say this. You can't do this. I mean, you can do it, but you shouldn't do it. When I was young, and I was doing graphic design. I remember one time I presented my final product to these people. They wanted a restaurant and it was like, hey, we need a logo, make an F for the restaurant. And I made it, I showed it to them, two guys bust out laughing, bust out laughing. And all I could do was just take it and be like, you know what, okay, this ain't really the logo that you want. I gotta go back in the lab and I gotta work harder. Never did I think, you know what I should do right now is bust out crying. I was young. I might've been like 23, 24, 36 years old doing that. See, this this is that whole Harvard thing. Uh, we need cookies and milk and Legos and crayons and binkies and bobos and blankies to do with the election results. It's the same thing. I wonder how many of those people at SNL attended these Ivy League schools and were given that treatment. Now, let's go back here. Elon Musk did respond on Twitter. Okay, because you see, this is the video right here, the original video. And I'll link to the original video in the box without the cutting up from E! News. But you can see it right here. Frankly, it was only on the Thursday before the Saturday that any of the sketches generated last. I was worried. So I guess throughout the week, they're doing reads. Throughout the week, they're trying to get the sketch fine-tuned before it goes on there. So maybe on that Thursday, they finally got it to a place where it made sense. But anyway, he continues. I was like... Damn, my SNL appearance is going to be so effing unfunny that it'll make a crackhead sober. But then it worked out in the end. All right, and he links to something right here, which is not the sketch of something else. But again, I'll link to that in the box, okay? Now, here's Bill Maher talking about it. Let's see what Bill Maher's got to say. I, I, it just made me think. I'm sure every single member of the Saturday Night Live cast was a, a Harris supporter. But what if one of them wasn't? What if one of those cast, what if one of those cast members was for Trump? Would they have felt comfortable saying so? I really don't think so. They would have had to keep it to themselves. That's not a good place for us to be. I remember when... <laughs> and that All right, pause for the fair use, Bill Maher. Don't give me no copyright strike. Even more on the left. Uh, and I remember when Elon Musk coasted. And this is well before he was a Trumper. This is three or four years. He was just the richest man in the world. So this is going back to what we were talking about in 2021, where he allegedly made people cry. And a number of the cast members on Saturday Night Live, like they wouldn't, they didn't want to deal with him. They're, they didn't exactly boycott, but they made it plain. And I was thinking, really? You have Elon Musk on your show for a week. You could talk to one of the most interesting, brilliant people the world has ever produced, even about this issue that bothers you so much that he's so rich and lots of people aren't. That would be a great time to talk to somebody. Like a lot of them probably drive Teslas. You know, the people on SNL, they're so weird. They will appreciate the innovations of this man. But when it comes to the man himself, they don't even want to speak to him because what they're afraid of his political opinion. Maybe he says things that they don't like. Well, maybe this guy is ultra rich and a genius for a reason. Maybe all the things that you don't like or you're afraid of come with the package of someone who is intelligent like that. Just maybe.
And even if you don't agree with him, like Bill Maher says, why not just talk to him? You, you got him for a week. I mean, it just, it, but not everyone thinks this way, which is why some people are successful. They advance, they're strong, they're strong-minded, and some are not. But no, you don't want to even deal with him. That's what I hate about the left. I agree. So shout out to Bill Maher. And Bill Maher really, Bill Maher is a liberal. It is what it is. He's just not, he's an old school kind of liberal. Not a conservative at all. Just an old school liberal who doesn't believe in all this woke, ridiculous, soft things that the new school liberals are doing. But as I close, I want to say this. Shout out to Elon Musk. I mean, seriously, it's not that bad. It's just called criticism. That's the whole point of the table read, right? Is it funny? Is it not funny? He's telling you directly. It's not funny. Let's work on this, huh? Let's work, let's work on it. Yeah. That's what you should do. Crying. Grown people in their 30s crying. We don't have time for that. And you know what? I'm going to add one more piece here. That whole thing, people busting out crying, not being able to take criticism. That's probably why the show sucks so much. SNL has not been funny in a very long time. A very long time. You go through all the rigmarole and red tape to get these sketches on. Certain things you don't want to talk about. You got political opinions and your activists you stopped worrying about comedy maybe in the 80s back in the eddie murphy days maybe maybe the last time snl might have been funny was during the dana carvey days which is why they dug him up and then r.i.p to chris farley those days adam sandler i think he was on there it was good but now these people are completely unfunny they stink up the joint every time they come on and I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? What's your take on this whole situation? Is it par for the course? We're talking about SNL. Unfunny, sensitive, super liberal organization. Or is it something else? Am I getting things wrong? Whatever your thoughts are, let me know in the comments below. You guys know where I'm at. This is why SNL sucks. Because the cast members, they're not really built for anything. They're not built for criticism. They're just, they're just too soft, too liberal too much into activism and other movements like the LGBT. They're into that kind of stuff. And the focus is less on comedy, but whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that is all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.